Hey, welcome everyone. As 2018 comes to an end, I want to give you a couple updates on what we're trying to do right now. And so here's a quick, it's been a productive year. I mean, 2018 is my first year back since my cancer two years ago. And it started out slow, but I'm feeling my energy coming back more and more. So thank you for your prayers, your support for myself and my for my family. In terms of our fundraising, it continues to be a great year. We have maybe about $24,000 left for all of 2019. And I'm not just talking 2018, I'm talking all of 2019. We still have about $13,000 left for Singapore. And then we also have a uh, $12,000 for Nairobi. After that, we're all done for a budget for 2019. Our Chicago and our Jakarta cohorts are now starting up. Uh, so we're actually ending with that thing as they start all in January. And it's great. I mean, we're in our third cohort at this point in time for both Chicago as well as uh, Jakarta and it continues to go well. Dr. Deb Gordon is taking over Chicago and our city leader Grace continues to lead really really well and we've continued to expand the row and added two people in the Jakarta office for her to work with. Um, and that really goes to our growing staff. Jakarta we now have three people. In Nairobi we have two people. We are now starting, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, our exploratory studies. We've uh, hired one person to help us out in Malaysia and we will hire another person uh, possibly in Malaysia and also Singapore and Orange County as well too. Uh, our conferences continues to go well and it has been a great year. Some challenges as, as we continue to learn how to communicate with all the different cultures and all the different cities, how to connect with everyone on time zones continues to be a challenge for all of us. But Emily has done a great job adding Deb Gordon to Chicago, increasing Noah's time, uh, and then pretty soon Renee's to come and help us out with mentors and really cultivate and care for our mentors is really good. What I'm looking forward to in 2019 is our exploratory cities. We have four that we've targeted. We've looked at Singapore, we've looked at Malaysia, and we have Kuala Lumpur specifically, Orange County, and Shanghai are the ones that we're gonna to target to explore. Whether or not we start in 2020 is still up for debate on these four cities. We're gonna probably do at least two, maybe three, with one pushed out to 2021. But within each one of them, we're gonna to have to have a local board as well as a local city director as well too. The Nairobi cohort officially starts this January alongside Jakarta and Chicago. And so for instance, uh, we've had the staff working since March. But that cohort of 15 will officially start. And you see Samantha over there as well too. And so I'm looking forward to that and working with the team. That Jakarta, Nairobi, Chicago officially completes phase one of uh, Resource Global's phase of creating a global network. We head into phase two with our exploratory cities. And so I'm very interested in seeing where that leads and where that goes as well too. Another thing, we're gonna start two offshoots a series of business conferences and webinars, more for the growing secular group that's a little outside of our target group in Resource Global. And the reason we're doing that is one of the suggestions from our Jakarta leaders is that, hey, we're young leaders. We're, we are running family businesses, we're running startups, but yet we don't have a lot of experience to really be able to run our companies in metrics, sales goals, research and development, human resources, marketing strategies, all the digital media strategies. As a result, we're gonna use some of our Christian teachers from both the West and Jakarta to use it as mission trips to come and make a trip to Shanghai to teach at this conference. So there's a lot going on. I'll probably be doing a lot more traveling as I feel better in 2019. That's what 2018 is. This is where we're going in 2019. We're done with phase one. We're headed to phase two. Can't do it without you. Love and appreciate all that you do. And just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And thank you always for your friendship.